This means that we must be especially attentive to every type of fun. Our world is increasingly a place of violent conflict, hatred, and brutal atrocities, committed even in the name of God and of religion. We know that no religion is immune from forms of individual delusion or ideological extremism. This year, the contemporary world, with its open wounds, which affect so many of our brothers and sisters, demands that we confront every form of polarization, which, will, which would divide it into these two camps. All of us, are quiet. Our response must instead be one of hope and healing, of peace and justice. We are asked to summon the courage and the intelligence to resolve today's many geopolitical and economic crises. But we must move forward together as one in a renewed spirit of fraternity and solidarity, cooperating generously for the common good. There is another temptation which we must specially guard against. 